Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here and welcome to BMTV. Christmas is most definitely on its way. I find it amusing that, that in November we're all like, hey, chill, it's not even December. Don't worry about Christmas yet. And then December comes, Christmas is coming! <laughs> panic, panic. Rachel went to uh, the range yesterday, filming on Monday. Yesterday was Sunday. She went to the range with her eldest and um, she said, I won't be long. Four hours later, she came home. I said I would have hated it. There was traffic to get into the car park. She couldn't find a parking space. And then you had to, there was a crush getting into the shop. It, it was the 4th, 3rd of December. What date are we on now? Whatever, the beginning of December. And it just just an absolute, oh, my, my, my hell, that is. So yeah, everybody's kicked off for for Christmas. So uh, most definitely on its way. And I just want to start by saying thank you to Mark for last week's show. Mark from Pioneer obviously comes in and he's done another great show with us, showing us those Christmas designs. It's proving very popular on YouTube. So thank you for watching that. I hope it helps you and I hope you uh, can make some money using those retail designs. Um, I love the the base of that one with the, the tapers. I thought that was that was really, really clever. We do have, we did film another one when we, Mark was in uh, the other week that we're going to put out next year. But I'm really excited about that because it's something different and something that you will never have seen before. So yes, it's, um, it's a real original. So I'm, I'm very excited about that. Yeah, but yes, thank you, Mark. As always, uh, it was great to, to have you here. Now, Talking of Christmas, I need to tell you something because Anna told me to. She said that, tell everybody that some of the stock is running out from the manufacturers. So for instance, the sitting snowman, he's gone. They've run out already. So what's left is what's left. We might not even have any ourselves now. Um, so the, the manufacturers are start, starting to run out of certain designs. So you might want to get your order in for Christmas and New Year stuff sooner rather than later because it will start to happen more and more. As soon as we start to see it happening with one or two designs, we know that obviously those designs are no longer available. So people buy the other designs and then they eventually... Um, depletes. So yeah, have a look at that sooner rather than later. I might as well talk about our opening hours at Christmas. We're open as normal on the 21st of December. So if you order on the 21st for courier next day, you should get it on the 22nd. My advice to you would be to order before the 21st because obviously it can get busy around Christmas. And as we've just learned with Black Friday and Cyber Monday, it can be very, very busy. So um, yeah, I'd recommend that you order as early as you possibly can that week uh, before Christmas. But we are still sending stuff out as usual on the 21st. The 22nd, we've got our Christmas lunch. We go out, we have our Christmas lunch, we come back and then any orders that have come in, there's normally only a few, um, then we would get those out a few. They would probably be delivered between Christmas and New Year. You might get them on the Saturday if you choose some Royal Mail options. Generally speaking, though, um, I'm guessing that would be delivered between Christmas and New Year. And then we're back on the 2nd of January. So any Christmas, New Year stuff you need, don't forget to order that all together. Now, talking of that, all I can call it really was a courier crisis last week or the last 10 days or so. Yes, Black Friday and Cyber Monday were bonkers absolutely bonkers this year. The, the couriers, they, they got used to it over the last few years. And I think they, they thought they'd done really well, um, but they, they hadn't, uh, it, and a lot of parcels were delayed. Uh, I do apologize if you were caught up with that, if your parcel was delayed, I really, really am very, very sorry about that. Um, we spoke to DPD, we used DPD and Parcel Force, spoke to DPD, and they said they had 600,000 parcels, 600,000 parcels more than they thought they were gonna get. So they prepared, they'd got people in the office, extra drivers, extra shifts. And it's like, yeah, we can deal with this because they did very well last year. 600,000 more parcels, it's just crazy. Our local depot, they had 9,000 parcels on the floor waiting to be dispatched. So all the vans went out in the morning and there was 9,000 parcels left. So some of those drivers, I guess, would have gone out, done their deliveries, come back, and then taking some more out. They were working till 10 o'clock at night. They were working over the weekend. Just crazy. Parcel Force, they had one night, they had nearly half a million parcels going through their system. And again, our local depot, we were talking to the driver and he said their depot is designed for six to 8,000 parcels a day. The previous day they'd done 13,000. So you can see that it's not even an option to go, oh, I'll just go to the local depot and, and pick up my parcel. They can't, they can't. 
look through thousands of parcels to try and find yours and that's really the situation so i am really really sorry for uh, if you were caught up in that and your your parcel was delayed i just want to do a big shout out as well to the customer service team downstairs they did really really well to deal with everything you probably would have been contacted by them by phone to explain where your parcel was um, those of you that were very understanding thank you so much those of you that were under a lot of stress and pressure to get what you needed when you needed it and didn't as I say, all I can do is, is apologize. It really was. I hate to say it. I really hate to say it, but it was one of those situations that there wasn't much more that could be done. Um, we, we sent things out for people uh, again, and obviously some people sent things back and we refunded, but it's, it's one of those things. So next year, we're going to be prepared, a lot more prepared. We are going to be warning people everywhere on the website, on Facebook, on YouTube. We're just going to be putting it out there to order early. Uh, we might actually, thinking about it, have to not guarantee next day delivery. I mean, that's what Amazon did this year. They said their next day prime delivery. No, no, you, we're not getting that. And it's like, oof, if Amazon are, are in that situation, you know that the networks are really, really full. So we'll see. But uh, my advice to you for this time next year, order weeks in advance uh, to get what you need. Anyway, now, some of you might have noticed the website has had a few tweaks over the last week or so. Yes, we've been working. We constantly work on the website. We want to make it easy for you to find what you want to get, easy for you to check out. We want to make things as easy as possible. And, you know, screens, some of them are getting smaller, some of them are getting a bit bigger, but it's still very small. So what we've done, we've been optimizing the website for mobile devices in the main. We've done other things as well. Some of them are just the back end that you wouldn't experience, but a lot of the changes you will notice most on your phone. With any changes like this on a website, a, number, a good number of changes, things don't always go to plan. And something that you might think is really simple has a lot going on in the back end. So if you spot anything, please, please, please let us know. Don't assume we know about it. Don't assume somebody else has got in touch and told us there's an error page showing for this. Um, please drop us an email or give us a call because we can't look, we've, we've got a lot, thousands and thousands of pages on the website now and there's just no way we can check absolutely every single one. So we're relying on anybody that visits the website if there is something wrong. Please get, a, get in touch. We can normally change things quite quickly. For instance, we've got some snow on the website now. Have you seen the snow? very festive. And some people have said, oh, I really love the snow. And other people are like, it's a bit distracting. And so what we did, we changed, left it on there, but instead of being on every page, just put it on the home page. And instead of the big blobs of snow, we made it a bit more subtle. So, and that was done in about 10 minutes. So we can make changes quite quickly. If there are any, anything, any things at all that you see that aren't right, then please, please, please do let us know. Now, let's talk about some product, shall we? The product I'm going to talk about, well, kind of talked about it the other week, um, vinyl. We've got vinyl in, yes. Obviously, the, you've got the bubble balloons being personalized, you've got foil balloons being personalized, even latex balloons, giant balloons being personalized, and people are using vinyl, Camo sil cameo silhouette printers or cutters. Um, there's Cricut, Cricut, Cric Cricut, I'm not sure how you say it, but that brand as well, and others as well. So. Personalization of balloons is absolutely massive at the moment and you use vinyl to do that. So we realized that there are specialists that sell the vinyl, that's all they sell, and that the products for the vinyl. But we realized that, for instance, if you want to get free delivery, you'd have to order 35 rolls sometimes to get free delivery. And we just thought, well, if people are buying balloons from us already, if we offer this as well, then they can just buy one or two rolls at the same time and they don't have to pay delivery from the specialist places at all. So, you know, it's not, it's not really done for any other reason other than convenience for our customers. So, yes, we've got a few colours in. When you get a new range in, it's always fun. You think, should we get a few in or should we get a lot in? Is it going to be really popular? Well, I think it's going to be popular. Not too sure. So you start quite low. Yeah, we made a big mistake there, didn't we? <laughs> so we are upping. By the time you see this, we'll have a lot more in stock. But these are a few of the colours. I think we've got silver and gold inside of stock here at the moment. And I've not got all the colours. But I've got some of the colours here. Black and white, that's coming in. These are 10 metre rolls as well as 5 metre rolls. Um, but also we've got these other colours. We've got the uh, rose gold, 
um, shiny one. The shiny one is considerably more expensive than the others. I guess it's just more expensive to, to manufacture. Um, but we are, if you've got any ideas, any other colors, any other finishes, please, please, please let me know. Leave a message, send us an email, give us a call, leave a message or a, a comment down below. Really can. I know some of you did that the other week. We are looking at those, so thank you. Um, we've also got a few other tools here. We've got the burnishing tool, the squeegee, the silhouette blade, um, and we've got the auto blade as well. So if there are any other consumables, any other tools that you think we should be stocking that would make it easier for you to get a hold of, then please, please let us know and we will stock those as well. But yes, vinyl is available here at Balloon Markets. Now, I've got a tip for you. I was talking to a florist wholesaler today and we talked about this. Now you might think this is cellophane. It's actually not cellophane. It's the same material as cellophane, but cellophane, unless it's manufactured by the company called cellophane, you can't call it cellophane. So this is called cello pack. Um, but it's the same material. Cellophane is just a brand. I know this because a friend of mine is in the packaging industry and cellophane phoned her up one day and said, stop calling your cellophane bags cellophane bags when they're not cellophane bags. They're cello bags. Otherwise, we're going to sue you. And so, OK, we'll do that. So, yes, it's the same sort. I can't remember the technical name of this, but it's the same sort of material as cellophane. But it's what everybody uses to create baskets to create hampers and things like that. Anyway, I was talking to this um, florist wholesaler and he was saying, Greg, there's a, I've got a really good tip for you. If you're a retailer and it's coming up to Christmas, get this 100 meter roll and then chop it into two meter lengths, roll it up and put elastic bands on it or a bit of tape and then put them in a basket and just have a few of those. So it's a bit like wrapping paper. When somebody's shopping, they see wrapping paper, they see that. And he said, and then sell those two meter rolls for two pounds. So that basically means you could sell this roll split into two meters for a hundred pounds. It's a hundred meter roll. Needless to say, it doesn't cost a hundred pounds. So go onto the website, balloonmarket.co.uk, log in and see the price of that. And you will see how much money you would be able to make if you did that. And I thought that was a really, really good tip if you're a retailer, particularly if you're a gift shop or a card shop or something like that, where people are going to come into you for things to wrap things up. And people are doing hampers, not just with food these days, but doing hampers for all sorts of different bathroom things and stuff like that. So here's me pretending I know what I'm talking about when it comes to gift wrapping. Oh, um, but anyway, I thought that was a really good tip. So, right, that's it for this week. Question of the week. I think I might have asked it last year, but I'm going to ask it again anyway, because I think it's a good question. What is your favorite Christmas film of all time ever? Leave your comments down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. See you next time. Bye bye.